I've been thinking about Assassin's Creed recently. Recently, there's not been much in the news about Ubisoft and what their, their plans are. So I started thinking about we should probably be expecting a new Assassin's Creed game in 2022. Seems about right. They're not that far apart. Um, welcome back to the channel. This is Long Claw Valerian Steel. I'm just going to have a little chat about my theories and, and some of the news that I found out about the new Assassin's Creed game, which we can expect later this year, although nothing has been confirmed. The word online is that, in a kind of low key way, Ubisoft, who are the game makers, have announced that the next title is going to be called Assassin's Creed Infinity. Of course, the first question everyone asks when you find out that there's a new Assassin's Creed game on the horizon is what sort of time and place is the game going to be set? That tells you what you need to know about it. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, of course, was set in the Viking Age, and the game before that, uh, Odyssey, was all about the Greek um, invasion and set in, in, in the Middle Ages. And then, of course, before that, you had Origins, which was set in Egypt. And going back a bit further than that, we had games in Paris and in London. And that's what I love about Assassin's Creed. There's so much history, and I think I'm a bit of a history nut, so these games are right up my street. So I started thinking, well, what is this new game going to be about? And it seems that the word online is that the, uh, the game is rumoured to be featuring most of the major characters and previously visited story arts a bit of a celebration for their anniversary and i started to think about how that might work as a game and the only way i can see this being sort of organized in such a way would be that the player can access the animus and of course the animus is how the player the, how we access the memories and the dna of the the characters that you play as, as the, for the majority part of the game but those people who, who never played Assassin's Creed that's primarily how it works there's a computer an animus which you can a bit like Avatar you'll jump into this machine and you can live and witness and see and experience the, the memories of someone who lived through a certain pe time period and the next game seems to be featuring lots of the different time periods so a bit of a celebration which would be very cool so next gen graphics and a next gen game because that's what we can expect and the previous release Assassin's Creed Valhalla was their first next gen for the Xbox X and Xbox Series S and PlayStation and this is going to be a very exciting game if you ask me I think that we're going to be able to access various different memory strands from different parts of the the previous releases but I think they will be ultimately one major storyline and story arc or a series of story arcs that are released throughout the game and I'm very excited about this I will continue to investigate as much as I can I will bring in all of the content that comes out to my channel I thought I'd have a little playthrough and have a go at playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla while I'm waiting this time with Eivor being a female because the previous run through that I did you can find all the videos on my channel um, was basically I was using the male and you can choose either male or female for Assassin's Creed Valhalla as with most of the, mo the modern Assassin's Creed games very very good game if you haven't played Assassin's Creed Valhalla and the subsequent DLCs that came out in, in Ireland and in Paris it is definitely worth a look well let me know what you think about this in the comments have you heard anything about this I'll be back very soon you take care stay safe and I'll see you next time